This is amazing. Jeez. Oh, hey, this is amazing, though. Oh, God. Well, hello there. Uh, another day on the road with the Lens Lifters team. Where are we off? We're going to um, the forest of Boland. Um, part of the forest of Boland in the north of England, the northwest of England, to an area called Cromwell's Bridge, Oliver Cromwell's Bridge over the river Hodder. Uh, it's in Lancashire, uh, near a little town called Mitton, and I think uh, it should make for some lovely shots. So um, it should be a, a really lovely day. Um, great to be back on the YouTube channel, um, and we are here with our fifth vlog. Anyway, uh, we are getting close to our destination, aren't we? So um, I'm we will uh, we will see you there. Let me get set up. We'll get some inspire shots and inspire sequence. I think of the beautiful area that we're in, um, and we'll also fly some FPV whilst we're here as well show you why I've brought these drones to this particular spot. Sit back and enjoy. I hate coming to beaches because of all the sand that you get in there. Bloody horrible, isn't it? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hoover, get the, get the old Henry Hoover out tonight and uh, vacuum it all out. But the sand gets, every, sand and drones don't mix. I've learned, I've learned that, we have learned that the hard way. We, li we quite literally did the other day. We've had to send our other inspire off for repair because a small pebble got inside one of the tiny little tiny weeny holes in there so it's destroyed a whole motor so, so make sure you thought don't we'd come to a beach full of pebbles for our <laughs> so the next video. subsequent video that's the that's kind of logic that you'll get with lens lifters but uh, <laughs> it's a special kind of logic and makes for good viewing So let me challenge you, while you're flying the Inspire, can you give us a bit of a history lesson about the bridge that we're looking at? So the bridge that you're seeing from the Inspire now was built in 1550. A hundred years later, Oliver Cromwell marched 8,000 men across the bridge, heading from Skipton in Yorkshire up to Preston in Lancashire. They then decided to name the bridge after Cromwell because of that fact. Um, that's all I know about. Oh no, I'll tell but you. Yeah. Also, yeah, also, some Lord, Lord of the Rings trivia. Lord of the Rings trivia. This is the bridge that inspired J.R.R. Tolkien um, to include in the Lord of the Rings. Now, this is the bridge that goes across the river in the Shire to take the hobbits home. this so you I know this is on the screen so we'll be able to show you the, the actual view from the drone but you can still see the original cobbles that they back 500 years ago now nothing about this bridge has been changed um, apparently during the, the, the war um, they could only march two horses across at a time so it must have took a considerable amount of time to get people across this bridge um, I think it's been disused for 200 years 
It's doing well as there's not much of it left now. It's like down to the original. There's not much of it left. And as you can see, look, we'll do a bit of an inspection with the drone. As you can see, there the is- client today is Oliver, <laughs> Mr. Oliver Cromwell. Mr. Oliver Cromwell wants us to inspect <laughs> his bridge. Industrial inspection of the bridge. So as you, as you can see from the image here, there is actually only one layer of um, stone left. Now, would you be confident at standing in the middle of that bridge and jump, jumping up and down? I'd, probably not just standing yet, jumping, no. No, so, well, uh, should, do you think it'll support both of our weight? I think so. I don't want to be the, the, the two people who destroyed a 500 year old bridge. No, that would, I mean, knowing our luck, that would be, that would be the that sort be the of thing. Now, if that did happen, this YouTube video wouldn't be going live because we weren't the people who were here. Um, but there you go. What a beautiful, beautiful shot. I like this dead tree that's been washed down next to it as well. I'm gonna actually get in the river because I can see there's a nice shot that flies all the way down the river. Now I need to be in the middle of the river to get that shot. It's not advised. No, I'm not gonna get in the river uh, because I'm not wearing wellies. Don't go in with the controller. Oh, uh, that is the, steady. That is the sort of thing that we would do. Triggering a return to home by dropping the controller in the river. That's the shot, that is the shot. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the history lesson. And I think now it's time for a bit of FPV. Ollie will be flying. I'm uh, getting used to my DJI FPV drone, which is coming up soon. We're gonna do a first impressions video of that. But uh, to play us out, I think, FPV montage, what do you reckon? FPV montage. Let's do, Let's it. do it. Oh God! <gasps> what did we hit? <laughs> what did we hit? A tree! A whole dead tree! <laughs> we, oh my, I thought I'd be brave and hit it through the... Uh, we hit a tree. I nearly ended up on the, yeah, nearly ended up in the other bridge. How are you feeling about power loop? No, f that. That's the stuff, and in. Yeah, that counts, that counts. There we go, sports <laughs> fans, there we go. Power loop. That was my first ever power loop. That was my first ever power loop. What a setting to do it at. I think Epic. I need to refi refine the skills, but we're getting there. It seemed all right, didn't it? Progress, man. Well done. Good work. Wow, that's good. <laughs> it is exhilarating, oh. isn't it, FPV? It's like it is an adrenaline sport. There's literally no other feeling. There's no other feeling. I can be. 300 meters that way in three seconds, 
Yeah, I could. You, there's no other feeling like it. It's like a, it's just like a game, isn't it's it? Like, I, it's like it's like lucid dreaming, like you know, it, well, thinking yeah. about where you want to fly and genuinely like being a bird. It fly is. where you can fly wherever you want to, and you're small enough to get in uh, to most spaces. That was that is amazing. What a what a what a spot. I don't think it's the, it's not the last time that I come here with the FPV drone. That's that's for sure. Taking off. I mean, there is something about that taking off from a 500-year-old bridge with an incredibly sophisticated bit of kit. Well, that's it for another Lens Lifters vlog. Uh, we're stood right in the middle of the bridge now, and it feels sturdy from where we are, but uh, if you have a little look at it from this angle, it gives you a little bit of a... Uh, it just makes me feel very vulnerable, that. Wow, yeah. It's, it's, it's oh way God. for thin. Look at that, right in See, the middle. Right in the he's middle. He's in the middle. Braver, I've got no braver, fear. Braver man than I am. <laughs> um, well, that was, that's the end of the video anyway. Well, that's it, we're done. Um, Thank you very much for coming along. Like and subscribe, please, it means a lot to us. And we'll be back next with the review of the DJI FPV drone, our first impressions. Ollie will be telling you what he thinks of it too. And then uh, we're gonna pit my DJI FPV drone against Oliver's pure uh, racing drone. But for now, that is it uh, from us, and we will see you again soon. See you on the next one. Bye for now.